hello everyone welcome back to the doing it easy channel today is lesson 5 today we are going to cover the G module uh, G module is a code generation tool that is being built into you uh, using this you can generate a lot of code that is that will take a lot of time if you are going to do it on your own as you can remember we created um, we created couple of models in our previous lessons uh, the use uh, user.php file, the active record, the contact form, login form, uh, sorry, and the user form is one of the forms that we created. All these can be generated using the G tool. So let's first to use G, we have to enable it. So we had to go to config files, web.php, and scroll down where in the e environment uh, equals dev okay this if this there's a statement that checks that with the this application is in the dev environment which is you are in the e development environment so this is not going for production so as you can see g is only enabled if you are in the development environment if you go uh, so uh, so right now we are in the uh, development environment so this will be already enabled so to check whether this has been the g tool has been enabled let's uh, go to index php r equals g so this is the g module okay so if you see this welcome to g a magical tool that can write code for you yeah if you see this screen then that means you have correctly enabled the g tool so there are a few functions that we can do we can generate models we can do crud generator which is create read update and delete which are common functionalities for any web application these days so there's a controller generator a forms generator a module generator and of course this is a special new feature extension generator which is only came in g2 okay so to get started to create a model we, let's start with the model and move on to a crud so to do that uh, first we need to create a, a dummy table uh, for us to create a model based on that table so doing it easy to is our database let's create a new table same posts uh, let's say we have four fields and post ID primary key and auto increment post title Watcher of 100 characters and post description and that is a text and of course we'll put a user's user ID or author ID okay I'm gonna make it int and I'm gonna make it an index and then save it and next let's go to the post table structure and relational view i am going to give this a relationship of v users user id so this author id has to relate to record in this table okay let's save it right so we are done with the uh, table design uh, it's a simple post table so let's go to the model generator and click on start so the name of the table is post and the model class is post um, and we want the base class to be active record that means this class is going to be going to extend the active record class the database connection thing I yes I want it to generate the relationships of course in this table we have a relationship uh, which is uh, which is the user ID if you go to design view yeah as you can see there's a relationship so yes we want it to generate our relations relations okay then we can preview yeah so it's going to create a file model post let's 
let's generate it let's preview this yeah and let's generate it okay okay they said there was something wrong when generating the code fix the following message okay using code template basic when the use of three to generate this model default generate model post I need to write to file okay that means I think there is a permissions issue let's open our up our terminal and let's browse into our local server and list it and let's uh, ch mod I'm going to recursively change the permissions giving it to in our basic folder to our basic folder okay this is the folder that we have so let's refresh and again try it out post yeah yeah and preview and generate yeah that was the issue we didn't have permissions to write uh, earlier now we have I have given the permissions uh, in Linux of course then this is how you do it uh, the R stands for the recursively that means I am giving permissions not only to the basic folder but the folders and the files within uh, that folder as well I give it permissions okay so we created the post model let's check it out oh, let's go to models post.php yeah so they have already see the we, we don't have to type these things out now they have already given the properties names the rules that we need all the post title the description and the author id are required the description has to be a string author id to be the integer and of course there's a max value for the post title and these are the attributes post id has been there automatically generate the attribute label as well okay get author and has authors yes right good uh, now let's move on to, uh, to the crud generator of course we have uh, now we have going to hold on for a sec okay sorry about that okay next uh, in the cloud generator we have to include the class so app models and the name of the class is posts uh, and next we want app models uh, posts search the controller class is app we want it in app controllers and the name is going to be post controller yeah yeah that's it uh, preview it okay so these are the file these are the files that's going to be create created uh, the new uh, controller class is going to be created a post search this is diff also different from e version 1 uh, in e version 2 uh, the search is going to be done by a different uh, file i think that's really really important i mean really good uh, good way to do it yeah and we get a form and a search and create index and update yeah so we'll generate yeah, and the code has been generated successfully okay to view the code what we have done let's go to our controller let's check out the files first so we got a controller which is this so it has see all of this has been generated for, for us that's really amazing uh, it says action index a view a create and update delete and a find model function as well right so let's get into the let's get into the post controller and action index great we see what we have to see right now let's we can create a post let's doing it easy ACG to G module 
fan fantastic to module to generate code and of course there is going to has to be a author id let's assume uh, the author id is one okay so right now we have created a crud application uh, with the use of the J tool that's really simple we can update it uh, as you want modules uh, module code generation can update and of course everything is has been styled using uh, bootstrap so and of course there's other new these new buttons as well this is the view update and delete so I think uh, we have done a lot in this lesson I uh, hope to see you next in the next lesson stay tuned please subscribe and like comment share and thank you very much for watching have a great day bye